Yo, what's up everyone? I'm back in the Caprice and as you can see I'm inside and I'm messing with this insulation or sound deadening material from like 79 or whatever this is you want to call it and so I'm probably gonna put my mask on real quick but I thought I'd just show you guys my method here is um, I got a scraper and I'm gonna just try to get it all off and I took my seat out you might a person might want to cover up their carpet I probably will I just want to show you guys what I'm doing I mean don't go too hard and like dent the roof or anything I'm gonna do as good as I can I probably will go put my mask on it probably won't take that long you know to videotape it I can't really do that I don't know if people even want to see that I know I probably wouldn't so yeah I probably you probably want to cover up something in here I'm not sure if I'm going to cuz yeah I probably will what am I gonna cover that with I'll find something but yeah so that's my method right here so um, I guess I'll show you guys when I get back and I'm gonna try I'm trying to take off as much as I can on one shot you know don't break it off that's why I got the scraper out and then the corners you might I'm gonna try to pull it out if I can because it's kind of tucked in there so hopefully a lot of it will come out there's some pieces that weren't stuck they de definitely might want to come with some dirty clothes if you're gonna do this because I am gonna replace it with uh, some sound deadening material that uh, Noiko sent me so I'm gonna do a video on that so shout out to them shout out to Boris and Not uh, Noiko and I'm gonna do a video on that so First, I gotta clean this. And so that's pretty much it right there. I'll show it when it's done some more. In the front, I got still up there. I got one seat in here because <clears throat> it's not power. It's, it's, the power's not hooked up and it's not as easy to take it out at the moment. But we'll get to that. But yeah, I'm gonna put my face mask on so there's some nastiness. Alright. So, I'm still going at it. Yeah. I didn't put nothing on the floor, I know. Well, there's a back part right there most of it at least I'm gonna get I'm gonna go harder on the, the little pieces that are stuck up there and like some little corner pieces but I just want to show you guys that's a pile of shit just from the back one you feel me so yeah I didn't put nothing down but I don't really have anything to put down I mean I guess I could have put a sheet or a towel or something but I figured it's lightweight stuff anyway I'm gonna vacuum up in here anyway but you definitely want to wear like a mask or something and some glasses Cause you can see it's all over the seat and stuff but like i'm saying it, get, it comes out the seat easily so that's kind of my thought on leaving the seat there plus this isn't my uh the, i have another interior i'm about to put in here but this is just lightweight shit, you know nothing that's serious but this carpet ain't new anyway so but yeah you, if you want to put a sheet down or something i guess you could i could have but i didn't have any on hand but anyway And you know that's how I do it anyway. That's how most of us do it anyway. So I'm just keep it real. But yeah, it's nasty. Them glue spots. I'm gonna 
unstick. You can see it's still got some of that insulation material on there. So I'm gonna get a bag and clean this this area out. I'm gonna take a little break. I was at it for like probably like 20 minutes. So it's not bad. So just me and that scraper. And I'm gonna do the front. And then I could tell you this job's probably gonna you're probably gonna want like an air hose, you know, something to be able to blow it, blow it clean. And it's probably gonna be a, like a multiple uh, attempt job, you know, like you might have to come at it a few times before you get all the little nooks and crannies out. And so that's what I'm gonna do with it. And then after that, I'm gonna see what's up. It looks like it's got a little surface rust on it. I mean. I feel like I should paint it <laughs> you know what I'm saying but at the same time I kind of just feel like putting this insulation in it I feel like that might just solve my problem with that I'm pretty much like to do things easy and low buck and practical you know what I'm saying like if it's gonna rest through my car top in the next hundred years and I might fix it but if not then I don't really care so surface rest I don't know we'll see if, if anything's bad there and I like to clean up things like I can but I'm really not trying to paint in my interior so like I said I'll do things like cheap and easy and not really giving a fuck I'm coming clean but I'm not gonna win any trophies or nothing but if you got a regular 305 box or something I'm out on you, you feel me that's what I'm about everyone everyone uh, does different things so but I'm trying to make it sound good in here you know like I want it to be uh, quiet inside you know I'm not really tripping if I have a headliner or not but I want that headliner effect. Like, I want it quiet. I don't want to be hearing the elements from outside. So that's how I'm doing my caprices. Like, I'll do the the looks and stuff later. I'm I'm more interested in the drivability of it and the performance and stuff. So, but yeah, that's enough for that right now. But uh, I'll be back in a little while with a more update. All right. All right, so there's the first video. I uh, just vacuumed. I mean, there's my this is my first uh, go. At home. All right, I'm back, and I just uh, vacuumed up. I got all the stuff in here. Most of it. Most of that nasty shit up in there. And then I vacuumed up. You guys seen how bad it was, but it didn't take much, you know. It, it was light. It was lightweight material, so it wasn't doing too much damage. That's why I didn't want to even cover it, cause you can see how clean it got. And it, I, I just went once over on it, cause I'm not done yet. And I also hit the vacuum cleaner up here, like tried to get anything I could that was in the vents or in the little corners and stuff. And so now what I'm about to do is get the air machine going, and I'm gonna blow it out some 
at least I'm gonna have that ready to go because actually I gotta come at that I gotta come at it again in some spots so I'm gonna do it like a part two of a round two on it so this should all be one video but I'm definitely gonna go round two on this and um, then we'll go from there all right also I mean I'm not an expert at this but um, I think it should be done maybe when it's hot out like kind of like it is right now because I noticed that a lot of these were popping right off the real uh the real glue parts like the real strong glue parts whatever you want to call that those little circles there they're popping off real easy as it got hotter out here so i mean it makes sense it heats up and it melts a little so and also you know um you might want to wear some uh definitely wear some a mask or, or some goggles or something some eye protection because these shit was getting everywhere. Wear gloves and stuff too. You don't want to be breathing that stuff. Definitely. All right. All right, it's looking pretty good. I'm on my second go around here. And if you get up close to it, like at a good angle, and I sharpened my uh, scraper a little bit, but if you get up close to it and really put some force on it, you can start really start getting some, some of that stuff, the, some of the stronger parts off. So you can see I've done a lot of that and I've videotaped a little bit of that so you guys can see like you really got to get it at the right angle and just got to hit it with the right elbow grease or force, you know, whatever you want to call it. But it's going to probably take a few times, you know, and take some breaks. I'm going to take a break right now and I'll come back at it with more energy and hit it up a little bit more. Finish vacuuming, uh, get the air, get the air hose out here, get up in there. Then I can see about, uh, cleaning up cleaning it up some and so we'll go from there all right All right, here it is. After I cleaned it out and I air hose it, you know, I got the got the compressor out 
and man that was a good idea because stuff was coming out of the crevices like you wouldn't understand so hit all these holes up you know what i'm saying multiple times see there's a little straggler in there i'm saying you could do it all day if you wanted to anyway get that little piece out later but yeah that's it so it's got some surface rust here and i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do to fix that up i might just take the seat out or put a bag over it and take the headline i mean take the visors out and just spray it uh, first i'm gonna clean it up with something some paint thinner or something but this is as clean as i could get it got vacuumed in here so that wasn't that bad i vacuumed a few times though because i kept knocking out more chunks so it's off now and if anything i might just hit it up a little bit with a little sandpaper right there i'm gonna see how the paint thinner cleans it up but i might just hit it up with like a little bit of black primer or something i feel like i should and maybe i'll deal with this seat at the same time because it's got a power track there's no power hooked up to it i could do that i just haven't done it yet so maybe it's time for me to do that so i can move it in and out easier uh, and clean some stuff up or i'll just cover some stuff up and throw some quick paint on it i probably should so that'll probably be the next step there it is right now might just throw my seat back in here for right now that's how i do it we'll see all right so i have some of this rust fix stuff laying around a couple cans of it so i'm about to just use this and see what it does i sprayed a little bit right there i think i should like brush it off real quick i'm more i'm more uh focused on here up top so I'm a, I sprayed a little bit right there. I don't really see anything happening yet, but I guess I kind of do. But I'm going to spray some more on there. I'm going to put my mask on and I'm going to spray it on there. And it sprays pretty thin and pretty direct. So I don't think I'm going to have to mask off too much stuff. But you can see I got my wheel uh, with a garbage bag over it. But yeah, I'm going to give it a try. Alright, so here it is now after like the first coat. And you can see some spots started turning black. I mean it all did a little bit. But I just need to hit it up some more. I mean I mean honestly I think it would be okay if a person just left it like it is. You know, I think it'd be solid. I did I did get it like in the corner spots pretty good and this is just like lightweight surface rest anyway but I mean I'm gonna hit it up again because I got another can of it and so I'm about to just do it but I don't think it's anything too major I'm in California here and these spots right here I kind of just was testing it to see how the stuff worked like those this whole floor looks like it's been uh, cleaned up and painted this was just like new rest spots just due to like water sitting under the carpet somehow for however long it's been there so I mean I probably should wire brush that off to do it more professionally and I probably will but I just wanted to see what it looked like when I hit it up without doing anything to it So yeah, I would just wire and brush it a little bit and then hit it up again probably. That's probably what I'm gonna do. And I 
forgot to put that in there. That's dirty. But yeah, I'm focused on the top right now. So it's almost there. I'm uh like I'm trying to hit spots that look like that. I hit that up once, I'ma hit it up again. And I was really focused on this part right here because this was the worst looking part area. So it looks a lot better right now. And so hopefully that works for what I needed to because then also after that I'm gonna stick on this insulation on there and it's gonna be super sticky, you know. Hopefully it should be on there good so we'll see how that works out so yeah I'm gonna put a little bit more on there and then I'll say I'm probably done with the top oh yeah so I wire brush the floor some and knocked out, knocked all those little rust pieces off. They weren't anything penetrating. They were just like some stuff starting. So I'm gonna uh, probably paint the floor a little bit. But yeah, I'm just cleaning up a little bit. You know, a person could get like really serious on this part if they wanted to. I'm not really like. This is even more. I already hit it up a lot, but I'm saying. I just wanted to keep, I just don't want it to cause problems in the future. So, especially this one. This one knocked right off. But yeah, I'm gonna just come through and uh, spray paint it black a little bit. We'll see what kind of paint I got laying around here. And that'll be good enough. All right.